Hello, it's Andrew Bell, AbleSim here. We're going to have a look at some fixed duration tasks in Microsoft Project. First of all, I'm going to open up a blank project and I'm going to set everything to be automatically scheduled. I'm going to insert three typical fixed duration tasks and then I'll insert some resources and we'll assign them up and we'll see what happens. So the first one is some sort of uh, large um, machine that needs some sort of reboot or resetting um, uh, to get it back on, on track. Uh, the second task is going to be a transportation task. I've got to move something. The third task is going to be uh, concrete, concrete drying. Uh, it could be paint drying. It could be some chemical process. Um, but it's got a fixed time. So there's our three tasks. I'm going to go to the resource sheet and add in three resources. We've got the uh, machine expert for rebooting the machine. We've got a truck that we, we require for the transportation. And um, although we don't need anybody to do the concrete drying, I'm going to put some security on the task so that nobody leaves their footprints all over my wet concrete. So I've added some resources into the tasks. Let's just give them all £10 uh, an hour as a pay rate. And we'll see uh, some costs associated with these tasks. So go back to the Gantt chart view. So the machine reboot uh, is uh, going to take, um, let's say it's going to take a quarter of a day, two hours. The transportation, let's make that a day. The concrete drying, uh, let's make it three days. And we'll come back to these again in a minute. Uh, double click the machine reboot and assign the resource, which is going to be the expert. Uh, the transportation, double click, assign the resource, which is the truck. And double click concrete drying and assign the resource, which is going to be security. Now let's have a, a look at what's happening here. Again, I'm right clicking on the Gantt chart so I can see the split. I'm going to start with the machine reboot task. And the machine reboot uh, is going to take two hours or a quarter of a day. And it doesn't matter how many resources I put on it. That's how long it takes for the machine to reset and recheck itself. So this task is going to be a fixed duration task. So I've changed it to fixed duration. Clicked OK. We can see we've got one machine expert on it. It's a two hour task and uh, it's taking a quarter of a day. Now the important thing here is that it's fixed duration. It doesn't matter how many resources I put on here. If I put on two machine experts, the work has increased because I've now got two people, um, but the duration has stayed the same. Let me just insert right clicking. I just insert the work column here. Press W on the keyboard. Right clicking again. Insert column. Let's put the cost column up there. So um, let's take it back down to one resource. One resource, two hours of work, quarter of a day. The cost is £20, £10 an hour, two hours. If I double the resource on a fixed duration task, I do not do anything with the duration. All I do is increase the work content and therefore the cost. Uh, let's just do this again. Let's put four. Machine experts on this task. Machine's going to take two hours to do its work. Doesn't matter how many people I've got uh, standing around watching it. All I've done now is increase the work content on the task and the cost. The duration is still 0.25 of a day. OK, let's have a look at the transportation task. Uh, here's the truck. It's uh, traveling for eight hours. This is a fixed duration task. Click OK. Um, I've still got one day duration with a question mark. Let's just um, touch that so we can make it one day deliberate. If I put two trucks on this, uh, guess what? It's still going to take a day. What's happened is that I'm now driving two trucks. I've got double the amount of work and double the cost associated. So a fixed duration task does not change no matter how many resources you put on it. Now let's have a look at our concrete drying task. Uh, we said we need three days for this concrete to dry. And we don't want anybody to walk on it. Now, interestingly, I've got a security man here. Um, and because it's a three day task, 
he's assigned 24 hours of work. So he's only going to monitor this during working hours, uh, which means that um, technically people could walk on my concrete overnight or early in the morning before security get there. Uh, but the first issue I want to show you, let's make this fixed duration task, is that if I double up on security, I've doubled the amount of work, I've doubled the cost, um, but the duration is still three days because it's fixed duration. Uh, what I probably need to do here is get security working a 24 hour shift. So I've got cover over the night um, and that will then increase the costs associated with those extra hours of work. Uh, but the main issue with my concrete drying is that I've said it takes three days and the Microsoft project it says, well, that's Thursday and Friday and Monday. So it's ignored the ca it's uh, taken into account the non working time of Saturday and Sunday. So what I should have done here, instead of saying three days, I should have said three elapsed days. Because elapsed days will tell the task to ignore the calendar time. And this has also, because three elapsed days, it's also uh, set the correct amount of work and the correct amount of costs for my security staff. Let's just make this easier by making it one person on the task. <coughs> Three lapse days, three lots of 24 hours is 72 hours. Three lapse days means Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And then on Sunday, the task is finished. So examples of fixed duration tasks and how sometimes you actually want to make them elapsed duration tasks. Thank you for listening.